Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be working on the Bronco again and uh, I have some hood support. So these are gonna be going on in place of this little you know, holder that holds your hood up. And so the idea is that whenever you put these on then it's going to hold that hood up for you. So we're gonna see if that happens. Uh, this company just sent these to me. I don't know if they work. I uh, wasn't really looking for them, but they were like, hey, try these out, see if these you know, work in your situation. So I'm gonna give them a try. The company here is TSU Basa, right? It says to be best. And then they got a couple of like flags on there from like a Corvette or something. Um, I'm gonna go with it. It's in this black carbon fiber. I looked them up on Amazon and uh, they seem to be a lot cheaper than everything else. Uh, this carbon fiber looks to be a sleeve, uh, some sort of aesthetic cover. Um, they look pretty decent. Uh, I think they're all going to be the same, but uh, this was pretty cheap on Amazon. So you can check those out. I don't know what they cost. There you go. I had it upside down. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and we're going to get started. All right. So this install is super simple. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't come from Ford like this. I'm sure it's probably, a, you know, like a $900 option if you wanted to do something like this. Uh, but they send you this little, uh, you know, flexible thing here and it's got a nut plate on one side. And so we're going to take this, it's got a washer, and the washer is just going to, you know, kind of hold itself in there. And this is just black taped. It's all taped together. And this is going to come through this slot right here. Right, and through this slot up here to this hole. Okay. This is what... This is probably the hardest part. Oh, don't forget your other washer. Right, you see I was already trying to mess up the simplest instructions, but there you go. You just gotta get it started. And again, you gotta put a little pressure on it. I kind of twisted this one, and then we're just going to tighten this into place. And kind of while I'm still holding on to it, I'm just gonna take this here. This is a 12 millimeter deep socket, and I'm going to tighten this down. Okay, it doesn't have to be too tight. You're just pinching this into place. But once you get that, then you can pull this out. Right, and then you're gonna save this other one because this is for the other side of the hood. So we're gonna set this out of the way. And now it's time for this bottom attachment point. So this bottom attachment point, you can see here, uh, these are pointing towards the inside and this is pointing towards the outside. So I'm on the passenger side over here. So this is gonna go out, this is gonna go in. Right, so we have this fender bolt back down in here. Okay, we're gonna loosen that up. That is going to pass through the hole here, and then we're just going to put that back together and tighten that back down. Okay, again, this size here, this is a 13 millimeter. Okay, and once we break that loose, we can just get in here with our fingers. You want to be careful not to drop anything down the inside of this fender here, because it'll just be gone forever. And knowing Ford, this is probably like a $37 bolt. So we're going to be really careful. There we go. And this one already has a washer and everything on it. So it's just going to go right back down in here. Again, there's no real like torque specification or anything. You just want it tight. You don't want it to rattle loose. So you can see how that looks down in here. We got everything all nice and tight. Uh, try to keep this as, you know, uh, straight as possible. You don't want it going one way or the other. So now we have our gas strut. Uh, the top side is just at a little bit of an offset. So that's gonna go to the hood itself. And then this other one here, uh, you can rotate that into place if you need to. And so this is just going to snap in here at the bottom. So we're just gonna come, come down to the bottom and this is just snap in here. There we go. And then up here at the top to get it lined up, you could you know squeeze this down or you just move the hood. And so there you go. So that one's locked into place. And you can see here that one gas strut is enough for this hood. Uh, we're gonna put the other one on cause you don't want it to, you know, flex it or do funny things, but uh, we'll just go ahead and we'll do this other side here. All 
All right, there it is. Uh, you can see that was maybe, maybe like a five to 10 minute install, um, but it works nicely. You know, you pop the hood, it rises, you know, at the right rate. And again, you know, it's not, like I said, it's not a big install. Uh, if it helps you out, maybe it can save you some money, maybe it can save you some frustrations here. Um, but if you wanna purchase this, I'll have a, a affiliate link down below that you can check out. Uh, maybe help support this channel. If not, get this wherever you want to get it or save money wherever you want to save it. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. But if it did help you, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe. All right, everybody. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.